Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to query S3 data using Amazon Redshift. Okay, so in this case, we are going to see how to query S3 data without actually moving the data into Redshift. In my previous video, I had shown you how to load the data from Amazon S3 to Redshift and then query in the Redshift. Okay, so in that case, there was actual physical data transfer from S3 to Redshift involved. But in this case, um, the data will be residing in S3 itself and we will still be able to query the data from Redshift. Okay, so to do that, we will be uh, making use of something called AWS Glue Data Catalog. Okay, so here we are going to create a table by crawling through the Amazon data by using a Glue Crawler. So the Glue Crawler crawls through this S3 data and creates a table in Glue Data Catalog. Okay, and this Glue Data Log Catalog will be connected to Amazon Redshift and we will be able to run the queries from there. Okay, so let's see how to do this. Okay, so the first step is to uh, basically upload the data to your S3 bucket. So I have uploaded, I have created a bucket and I have created a folder called employee and inside that folder, I have uploaded my CSV data. Okay, so this is how the data looks like. It's some sample uh, employee data. Okay, so now we are going to see how to query this data from Amazon Redshift. Okay. Okay, so the first step is to basically uh, go to AWS Glue and create a catalog table there. Okay, so let's go to AWS Glue console. Search for AWS Glue and uh, open it. Okay, so this is how AWS Glue console looks like. Okay, so I'm just going to click on go to Glue catalog. Okay, so since I don't have any databases or tables like this is how it looks like. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create a database. Okay, uh, here in the left click on databases and click on add database and uh, let's call this as sample DB. Okay, so this is the database that I'm going to create and location and option like these are all optional. So I'm just going to create the database. Okay, so once the database is created, um, so if you open this a database, there are no tables uh, yet in this database. Okay, so now we need to add the table uh, inside this database. So just click on add tables using crawler. Okay, and click on this. So here it will take you to basically uh, page to create the AWS crew crawler. Okay, crawler is basically uh, something which uh, scans through your S3 data and you know infers a schema and everything and creates a table in your glue catalog. Okay, so that's a crawler function. So I'm just going to call it as employee data crawler. Okay, so description and everything is optional. I'm just going to click on next and uh, it is asking is your data already mapped to glue tables and it is not yet mapped. So I'm just going to click on not yet and uh, what is the source of your data? So for us the data source is S3 click and add a data source here and data source is S3. You can select like many other sources as well for now. Let's select S3 and uh, so this network connection is optional for s3 okay so location of s3 data is in the same account okay so if you select in this account you can click on browse s3 here and just uh, select the location of your uh, so here the one thing to note is you need to select the folder in which uh, the data is present not the individual file itself so all my data all your data needs to go under a particular folder and you need to select that folder to scan through okay so i'm going to select that and I'm just going to select crawl all subfolders. Look, basically this will crawl any subfolders which if it is present inside this uh, folder. Okay, uh, I'm just going to leave everything as default and click on add a new data source. Okay, so now we have uh, configured our source. Click on next and now we need to select an IAM role uh, to basically uh, which has the access to uh, get the data from the test bucket. Okay, so that like I mean if you have an existing IAM role which has the permissions to get data from that particular S3 bucket you can select that IAM role otherwise you can just click on create new IAM role here and uh, you can just name it as employee crawler employee role or something like that. Okay, just click on create here or if you have an existing role with the necessary permissions you can uh, select that as well so you can just you, you can also take a look at this IAM role after it is created what all permissions it includes okay so the lake formation configuration is optional we are just going to ignore that for now and click on next and target database so where uh, do you want to create your table okay so here i'm going to select my sample db that we just created and table name prefix optional so if you want 
the table which is created to have any prefix you can give it here okay otherwise it will just create the table with that uh, folder name which is employee okay and all these things i'm just going to leave it as default and crawler schedule so do you want to like i mean run the crawler on a scheduled basis or like you just want to run it on demand so i'm just going to select on demand so that it runs only when we want and click on next here so okay it says that that iam role was created okay and click on create crawler okay so once the crawler is created you can just click on run crawler here okay so now the crawler is starting so if you go back to crawlers um it says it is running so let's give it some time to complete running and then it will create the table in our target database so now uh, it has completed running and it's now going to stopping uh, state so it says that like i mean the table change one created okay so yeah the table i mean the crawler has completed its job let's go to databases and see if that table is created okay let's refresh this and see okay so if you see now uh, this employee table is created so if i just select that like we can see that i mean the schema and everything is inferred by the crawler and it is created here okay so now that we have created a glue catalog table let's go to amazon redshift and uh, see how to query that okay so i'm using amazon redshift serverless for this okay not the provision cluster okay in your amazon redshift serverless dashboard you can just click on query data here and it will take you to this query editor so if you uh, don't have the amazon redshift serverless setup i have explained in detail how to create your default work group and get started with the serverless you can check out that video so if you expand this default work group here you here you can see there is aws data catalog so this is basically your external uh, database which is pointing towards your glue data catalog okay so if you just hover over here it will uh, say that like i mean glue data catalog okay and just click expand here okay so if you expand that you can see the sample db that we just created and if you expand that you can see your uh, tables under the sample db so this is the employee table that we just uh, created okay so i'm just going to run some sample queries on that so if you see here yep here if you see uh, like i mean it loaded the data so yeah from here you can like i mean run any of your queries that you want to run on the data and yeah, you, and you can see the results okay so the one thing to note here is that we have not moved the data from s3 to redshift so still the storage uh, layer is redshift for us but only we are using redshift to analyze that and uh, you know query that data okay so this was a simple demo on uh, how to query s3 data using redshift so i hope you found it helpful and i'll see you in the next video thank you